So uh, lecture number five. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. And today we will uh, we will start with the quiz. We will try to solve the questions, uh, the tasks from the quiz. And next um, we will um, move on to Bernoulli and Riccati's equations. Mm -hmm. Okay, task number one will be solve the differential equation 2e raised to the power y minus x times y prime equals 1. Do you know how to solve this? So, have you managed, yeah. Kathy, and follow? Uh -huh. What shall we do to solve this? X, right, right. X is the function of y. Mm -hmm. So, we shall rewrite this equation in order that uh, x, um, so, so that x is a function of y, and then. Mm, um, this differential equation uh, equation can be viewed as a linear equation uh, in the function x uh, x of y. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Uh, so, uh -huh. okay. So I will solve this and uh -huh. minus x. Uh -huh. Or what is the question? Or do you want to solve? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, dy over dx equals 1 and if we rewrite this equation in the form um, 2e raised to the power y minus x equals dx over dy mm -hmm. then this differential equation is reduced to the linear differential equation uh, uh, with respect to x. So x should be viewed as a function of y and we will try to solve the equation x prime plus x equals 2 e to y. So it is not difficult. Uh, first of all we, we should find the integrating factor. The integrating factor is um, u of x e raised to the integral um, so the coefficient of x is 1 so we should integrate 1 and it is e to x then we can see that um, if we multiply by u if we multiply both parts uh, by um, so not not x of course so <laughs> it is y Mm -hmm. Multiplying both parts by e to y, we will uh, get the following e to y times x prime plus e to y x equals 2 e to 2y. Two then this is the same as e to y times x prime equals 2 e to 2y. Two then e to y x equals we should integrate this with respect to y. We will get the, the answer will be e to 2y plus c. And then x equals e to y plus c e to negative y. Okay. And we are done. Right? This is the, the answer. Mm -hmm. uh, this is task number one. And uh, after this, let's discuss task number two. Uh, solve the differential equation. Equals zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you managed to solve it? Uh -huh. So it is exact, right? Exact. Mm -hmm. So p of x y is equal to two x y, and q is equal to x squared plus three y squared. And we can see that dp over dy 
which is equal to 2x equals dq over dx, which is also 2x. So since we get the same answers, so since uh, these partial derivatives are the same, then uh, our equation is exact. Mm -hmm. And we can find the function if we integrate um, okay, from 0 to x, 2xy dx, and plus, mm -hmm. and next we integrate with respect to y, uh, and we may substitute x equals 0, right, from 0 to y, 3y squared dy. This will be equal to x squared y plus y cubed mm -hmm. plus c. And uh, next, the answer will be written as um, the answer will be x squared uh, y plus y cubed equals c. So this is the answer. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, I hope it's clear. Okay, now what about the participants? So I can see Santiago. Oh, how many participants are there? So it's difficult to see. Uh, Mahanad, uh -huh. Mahanad, Krutika, uh -huh. thank you. Uh -huh. mm, well, Santiago, Ashish, Krutika, Rohan, Mahanad. Mm -hmm. And who has four? Uh, I don't know. Who is this? Ah, Omar. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. I see. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the quiz. And now next time we will have a big control work for the entire seminar. And next time there will be a lecture. Uh, from 12.20 till uh, 13.45, I think. And after this, we will have a big control work. And so it will be offline for uh, all the students, except for um, those students who are abroad. So I, as I know, Monica, uh, is abroad, right? Daniel, okay, mm, Han Yusek, and and uh, Rohan, right? Four, four students, and all other students should be here, right? I will write the the, the letter for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and today uh, we will um, study. Uh, two um, types of differential equations first. Uh, they are Bernoulli equation and Riccati equation. Uh, uh, these are two new types of differential equations, first-order differential equations. And after this, um, we will try to solve problems and I will um, try to answer the questions maybe concerned with homework. I think I I know that there are uh, there are some difficulties with uh, solving uh, tasks from the homework, and so it is important to discuss, right, and to try to solve them. We will do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Ah. So the cloth.
So the topic is Bernoulli and Riccati equation, equations, differential equations. Mm -hmm. I will give you methods how to solve these equations and uh, we will have a chance to exercise them. Okay, so the first type is we will start with the Bernoulli equations. Mm -hmm. Bernoulli equations um, have the form, uh, so these are uh, equations of the form y prime plus p of x times y equals, let it be f of x, times y raised to some power n. So where um, f of x and p of x are continuous functions, And n is a real number. Okay. So there are two particular cases of these equations. Uh, the first particular case is when n equals 0. What about 0? If n equals 0, look at this equation. Um, are you able to solve this equation for n equals 0? Let's consider this equation for n equals 0. What can you tell about this equation? Can you describe it? Can you solve this equation? Right. So it's a linear. It will have a um, form uh, y prime plus p of x times y equals f of x. It is linear and it can be solved as before, as was described before, two lectures ago, mm -hmm. two classes ago, maybe two weeks ago. Okay, and the second particular case, if n equals 1, can we solve the equation for n equals 1? Then we will have the following, y prime plus p of x y equals f of x y. What about this equation? Separable, right. It is separable. Mm -hmm. So the um, variables can be separated and it can be easily integrated. Right. But we are now we are interested in the case when n is not 0 and n is not 1. Then let's discuss um, the method of solving this type, uh, this type of equations. So then uh, the method is to make a substitution z equals y raised to the power n minus 1. Okay. Then what is z prime? Let's differentiate this. So z is a new function. Let's find the derivative of z. 1 minus n uh, times y to the power minus n times y prime. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so let's look at our equation. Let's make this substitution. Um, so we can see, so we have y prime. Let's divide this equation through by y to n. So we will divide by y to n, but we will lose a solution, y equals 0, right? So it will be a solution, um, so if, y, uh, if n is positive, then it is a solution. So let's divide, mm -hmm. and we will have the following, y prime times y to negative 1, plus 
p of x times y to 1 minus n equals f of x. Mm -hmm. Using this substitution, so this substitution, uh, this substitution will give us uh, the following. So we should, <laughs> so uh, this is the um, coefficient. Let's multiply <laughs> by one minus n, and we will get the following: one minus n times y prime times y to negative n plus one minus n p of x y1 minus n equals mm -hmm, f of x and then we can see that this is mm, z prime z prime and here is z mm -hmm. so we get the following equation um, I will use this space this part of the blackboard we will get the following z prime plus 1 minus n times p of x times z equals 1 minus n times f of x. So this is our new equation. Can you solve this equation? So what can you say about this equation? What's the type of this equation and is it possible to solve it using our, yeah. mm -hmm, our machine? Mm -hmm. Linear, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we can um, apply our technique to sol uh, for solving linear uh, differential equations. Right? Let's consider an example. Mm -hmm. This is our equation, y prime minus y equals y squared e to x. Mm -hmm. Let's solve this equation. We can see that n equals 2. And uh, let's perform uh, the substitution. z equals y raised to the power 1 minus 2. So it will be y so 1 over y. Mm -hmm. Then z prime will be equal to minus y prime over y squared. Then on dividing by y squared we will get the following. y prime over y squared minus 1 over y equals e to x. Then let's make a substitution. So we can see that this is minus z prime. This is z. And we come to the following differential equation. Minus z prime minus z equals e to x. We can rewrite it in the form z prime plus z equals minus e to x. And let's solve this linear equation. So let it be um, the step number one. And step number two is to solve this linear equation. Step number two. Solve the linear equation z prime plus z equals minus e to x. Okay, so let's find the integrating factor first. U, to, uh, u of x will be equal to e raised to the integral dx, so it is e to x. Then we can see that e to x z prime equals minus e to 2x. Uh, so e to xz equals minus 1 half e to 2x plus c. Mm -hmm. And it follows that z is equal to minus 1 half e to x plus C to uh, times e to negative x. Mm 
okay. Uh, and now let's return to the original variable y. Let's make a back substitution. Uh, y equals 1 over z. It is equal to... Mm, okay, so I have not enough space. Let's use this part of the blackboard. Mm -hmm. So z equals 1 over y. Uh, so, not z, <laughs> y equals, right, over z. Mm -hmm. z is this, so we have the following, 1 divided by minus 1 half e to x plus c e to negative x. Okay, so this is a solution. Is it a general solution or not? So, do we need something else or is it enough? y equals 0, right, because we have divided by y here, right, so look here, so we have divided by y squared, and so we have lost the solution, y equals 0, so it is actually a solution, we can check that this is a solution, uh, if we have uh, the function which is identical 0, if we differentiate it, uh, we will have 0 here, so 0 minus 0 equals 0. It satisfies the equation, so we should add this, right, y equals 0 is, a, uh, is some particular solution. Mm -hmm. And so this is the general solution to our differential equation. So, sorry, and... For any n greater than or equal to 2, y plus 0 is a solution. Right, so if n is mm -hmm. so if n is positive, then it will be a solution, of course. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shall we have a break or so or no? So let's continue. Mm -hmm. So next we will discuss the Riccati equations, the second type. It is very important for us. Um, so it is. Mm, it, Riccati equations uh, appear in various branches of mathematics and physics. So this type of equations is very important and so we should be able to solve Riccati equations. And now we will discuss Riccati equations. Type number two. Riccati equations uh, have the form y prime equals a of x times y plus b of x times y squared plus c of x. Okay, uh, so we can discuss, we may discuss some special types of Riccati equations. Okay, so to complete the definition, we should add that a of x, b of x, and c of x are continuous functions. Okay, so this is a Riccati equation. And we may compare uh, Riccati equation and Bernoulli equations, and um, after this we may mm, answer the question uh, if one type is a particular case of the other type, right? Uh, I'd like to recall that that the Bernoulli equation uh, has, has the form y prime plus p of x y equals f of x y to n. And if we compare these two equations, we can see that, um, um, for example, if, so case number one, a particular case, if, uh, say, c uh, of x equals zero. If c of x is zero, then 
we will have a Bernoulli equation. Okay. Mm, next, if we have, for example, case two, if we have b of x equals zero, if b of x equals zero, what is it? It is linear, right? Mm -hmm. And so we can solve a Riccati equation for c of x equals zero, for b of x equals zero. Mm, okay. And, okay, can we solve this equation for for the case when a, b, and c are constant, uh, when this, uh, these are not functions of fat, x, they do not depend on x. If a, b, and c do not depend on x, they are constants. then it will be separable. Mm -hmm. Well. Okay. So these are particular cases. But next, let's discuss the general method of solving Riccati equation. Okay, uh, the main idea here is um, that if we know some particular solution, so if we know if, um, let's call it y1 of x, is a particular solution, Of the, Bernou of the Riccati equation, let it be asterisk, asterisk right? Mm -hmm. Then we can obtain a general solution to the Riccati equation. It is possible. to find a general solution. Mm -hmm. There is a, a, an algorithm for finding a general solution of the Riccati equation if we know some particular solution. Right? And now, so let it be a theorem. And now I will, be sh I will show you how to find a general solution given a particular solution. And so next the problem will be to find a particular solution. It's not an easy problem, right? It, it, uh, so there is a, no general algorithm how to find a particular solution. But we will try to do this. There are some maybe hints or some um, Special case is when it can be found, right? Uh, but given a particular solution, it is possible to find a general solution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let y1 be a particular solution. Uh, then introduce mm, the new, uh, so let's uh, represent y as the sum of, so y of x is a general solution and the idea is to represent y as the sum y1 of x plus some function, let it be u of x. The idea is to find u of x given uh, 
given that while one of x is a particular solution. And after this, we will, f uh, so adding, adding up these two functions, we will get a general solution. Right, how to find your facts uh, uh, if we know that y1 of x is a particular solution? Let's substitute this into the Riccati equation. Then we will have, so y prime will be, so I will rewrite the Riccati equation, y prime um, equals, so it will be a of x times y prime plus b of x y squared plus c of x. Let's substitute uh, y given in this form into our equation. We will get the following. We will have the following. y1 prime plus u prime equals a of x times y1 plus u plus b of x times y1 plus u squared, it's u, plus c of x. Next, let's expand, expand this. plus 2b of x, y1, times u, plus b of x times u squared, plus c of x. But we know that y1 of x is a particular solution. Then um, I will underline that, um, uh, so the corresponding terms, so y prime, y1 prime equals a of x times y1 plus b of x times y1 squared plus c of x. Can we cancel these terms out of our equation or not? What is your opinion? So we know, uh, I'd like to recall, that y1 is a particular solution. This means that y1 satisfies the Riccati equation. So we have mm, y1 prime equals a of x y1 plus b of x y1 squared plus c of x. So y1 prime equals this. So look uh, at the underlying terms. Can we cancel them out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we get the following. y prime equals a of x times u uh, plus, so I will get a similar terms, I will collect similar terms, plus 2b of x y1 times u. So y1 is a known function depending on x, so it's like b of x, it's a function of x, right, times u. So these terms, and the last term will be b of x times u squared. Look at this equation. Uh, do we know how to solve it? Yeah. Right, because this is a Bernoulli's equation. Mm -hmm. And after this, using the algorithm of solving Bernoulli's equation, we will be able to solve this. Right? We will make a substitution and continue, uh, so complete our solution with um, applying the algorithm for solving Bernoulli's equation. Okay, so uh, 
theorem is proved. So we have shown that uh, given a particular solution, we are able to solve to find the solution to the, mm, uh, the general solution to the Riccati equation. Okay, next let's consider some examples. Okay, we will consider two examples. And this will be example two. Example one um, uh, was concerned with Bernoulli equation. And this is example number two. And we will solve the Riccati equation, which is y prime equals y plus y squared plus one. <laughs> so I think it's easy and... Uh, we may avoid this complicated <laughs> right, discussion because it's separable. Because the constant do not depend on x. And so this is the easiest case, case number one, when the coefficients do not depend on x, actually. Right? So let's solve it as a separable equation, dy. And I will recall how to solve a separable differential equation. So we will have a control work next <laughs> next seminar, and so uh, I think mm, it is very useful. So y plus y squared plus 1 equals dx. We have divided by y plus y squared and 1, and we integrate both parts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will not lose solution on uh, dividing by this expression because it is al always positive. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's integrate this dy over y squared plus y plus 1. I'd like to recall that to integrate we should complete the square, right? It can be integrated by completing the square. So it will be so y squared plus 2 times 1 half y plus 1 fourth minus 3 fourth. And we can see that this is a complete square, perfect square. So it is y plus 1 half squared minus, uh, so not, mi uh, not minus, but plus, plus 3 fourth. And the function will be arctangent, right? <laughs> so uh, a will be root 3 half. So the formula is, I'd like to recall the formula, 1 over a arctan. The argument, it will be y plus 1 half divided by a, right? plus c, let it be c1, and on substituting a, a is root 3 half, so uh, we get 2 over root 3 arctan, y plus 1 half over a will be 2y arctan, 2y plus 1 over root 3 plus c1. Okay, and it is equal to, so this integral is very easy, it's just x. So the answer will be here. It will be given by the implicit function 2 over root 3 arc 10, 2y plus 1 root 3 equals x plus c. This is the answer. 
so very easy. And the second example uh, will be a little bit more complicated. And so uh, I will, let's discuss this last example and then we will have the break. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss the equation y prime plus y squared equals um, equals two over x squared. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, so <laughs> if we so um, if we um, uh, so if we knew the solution, we would be able to solve it. But can we find a, a particular solution? Can we guess a particular solution, or can we find it? So, what shall we do to find a particular solution? What are your ideas? Um, should we, uh, so in, uh, in, what, in which form uh, should we look for a particular solution? Particular solution. Uh, so, look at this function, 2 over x squared, y squared. So, if we want uh, all these terms um, to be some maybe similar functions, functions of the same type, what shall we do? Well, so my idea is to uh, look for a particular solution in the form y equals c over x, where c is some constant. It is justified by the form of each term of our equation because y squared will be c squared over x squared, the term which is similar to this one. And y prime will be so minus 1 over x squared. Right? All the terms will be of the same type, they will be same, the same functions. Right? And so this will help you to find the formula for a particular solution, right? So let's use this substitution. Uh, then y prime is minus c over x squared. And let's substitute this into our equation. So this is the first step, finding particular solution. Mm -hmm. So let's substitute this into our original equation. We will get the following, minus c over x squared plus c squared over x squared equals 2 over x squared. Okay. So we may multiply by x squared. Right? So we need to know c, so we need one particular solution. Let's multiply through by x squared and we will get the quadratic equation on c, right? Minus c plus c squared equals 2. Let's solve right c squared. Uh? Ah, for c, right. So this is the answer. Mm -hmm. Right. c may be uh, equal to minus, minus 1 or c equals 2. We may choose any, uh, any we want, any we prefer, any value we prefer. So. Which, which value do you prefer? So, well, well, 
2, right, let's, let's take c equals 2. So we have a particular solution. So the result of step number 1 is a particular solution. given in the form y equals 2 over x. <laughs> so let it be v1, uh, y1, a particular solution. Step number 2. We will represent our general solution as the sum of a particular solution y1 plus some unknown function u. And let's substitute this into our Riccati, uh, original equation. Mm -hmm. We will get one, uh, y1 prime plus u prime plus mm, y1 plus u. So um, I will substitute. <laughs> I think it would be more convenient to use this function 2 over x plus u. Mm -hmm. Then y prime will be minus 2 over x squared plus u prime plus 2 over x plus u squared equals 2 over x squared. Mm -hmm. Then we will get the following. On expanding this, we will get the following equation. T minus 2 over x squared plus y prime plus 4 over x squared plus 4, it's 4, 4 u over x plus u squared equals 2 over x squared. These terms are cancelled out of the equation. And we are left with the following y prime plus 4u over x mm, plus u squared equals 0. And this is a Bernoulli equation. So step number 2 is completed. So the result of step number 2 is uh, the Bernoulli equation. <laughs> Next step is to reduce that Bernoulli equation to the linear equation. And some step number four will be to solve a linear equation. <laughs> right, so many steps. Step number three. Uh, to solve Bernoulli equation, we should make a substitution. We should introduce new variable, uh, so new function, which is equal to, so uh, the power n, n is equal to two. So z will be equal to 1 over u. <laughs> so I'd like to recall that the formula is, so here we have n equals 2, and then the substitution z equals u to the power 1 minus n will reduce our Bernoulli equation to a linear equation. Right? Mm -hmm. So z equals 1 over u, then z prime will be minus y prime over u squared. Uh, so we will have minus u prime over u squared plus, so uh, um, just a moment, uh, it's, <laughs> I should divide by u squared. Let's divide by u squared, right, or by minus. So we will divide this by minus u squared, and we will have this. So it will be minus u over u squared plus 4, uh, just minus, minus 4 over x times 1 over u plus minus, <laughs> minus 1 equals 0. And then after the substitution we will get z prime minus 4 over x times z equals 1. So this is a linear equation. <laughs> 
Step number three is completed. <laughs> now, the last step is to solve this linear equation. Uh, we will find an integrating factor, let it be v of x, because u uh, is already used, this variable is used, so v is a new variable, this is a, and this will be an integrating factor, it is equal to e raised to the power minus the integral of 4 dx over x. It will be equal to e to the power minus 4 ln absolute value of x. It is 1 over x to 4. This is an integrating factor. Right? Mm -hmm. Next, uh, multiply this equation through by this integrating factor and we will get z prime over x to 4 minus 4 over x to 5 z equals 1 over x to 4. We can see that mm, the left-hand part is the derivative of z over x to 4. It is equal to 1 over x to 4. Then, uh, so I will use this space Mm -hmm. Then we can see that z over x to 4 equals the integral of dx over x to 4. It is equal to mm, minus 4 dx, x to the power minus 3 over negative 3 plus c. Well, so... Uh, z is equal to minus one third x plus cx to four. This is z. Then we need to find u. Then u is equal to one over z. It is equal to one over minus one third x plus c x to four. Or it can be rewritten as uh, three over um, three x to four minus x. If you prefer this, right? U and then the general solution. The general solution will be u equals y1 plus u. y1 was 2 over x plus 3 over 3c x to 4 minus x. And we should add one particular solution, 2 over x. So for the general solution we need this. Because we can't obtain, um, uh, so we can't obtain this solution for any value of c. So we should add. Mm, uh, so we should mm, right. So add this particular solution to our general solution. This will be the answer. So answer is the following y equals 2 over x plus 3 over 3 c x to 4 minus x and y1 equals 2 over x. So this is a general solution. Okay, so very long way from the beginning to the end, so many steps, but they are not difficult, right? Which formula? To memorize the algorithm, I think it's better to memorize the <laughs> algorithm. So several steps, but they will lead to the answer. So recut equations are very important, right? So uh, they appear and in physics, I think. So have you 
<laughs> have you met <laughs> these types of equations? No? Right, so let's, let's have a break now. And after this, we will have a seminar. Mm -hmm.